Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and uh, we're going to do a financial analysis on a building that sold in February of 2023, and we're doing something different this month in that we're going to look at a building in a small town outside of Ottawa, and hopefully we can bring this to you on a more regular basis, because uh, about four or five, six months ago, we hired somebody who's an experienced realtor who services these areas in the south and, and in the west of Ottawa. So. Uh, we want to uh, show you a little bit about what's going on. So what we did is select a six unit building that sold in Arnprior, and you can see that it was listed for a million seventy nine thousand. It sold for one million dollars. It had a scheduled rental income of fifty eight thousand, an effective rental income of about fifty six six, and the operating expenses that were shown on the MLS were $16,000. And then when we add in maintenance and management, that's an additional 10%, we come up with a total operating expense of close to $22,000, which gives us an NOI of about $35,000. So with that information, we know that we've got a cap rate of about 3.5%. And hmm, little, you know, kind of on the low side. Uh, operating expenses, 38.5%. That's, you know, not too bad, actually. Uh, so it sold for 18 times the gross, and I think that's high, and 29 times the net. I think that's high as well. So I can kind of forecast some ugly numbers ahead of us here. Now, looking at the old traditional 35% down, that's a $350,000 down payment. And that gives us a uh, mortgage of 650, blah, blah, blah. So anyhow, the annual debt service on that mortgage is almost $48,000. And that gives us a cash flow of negative, almost, almost negative $13,000. And that's a negative ROI of almost 3.7% with the ROI <coughs> being based upon your down payment. So. What would it take for this property to cash flow positive? How much of a down payment do you, do you actually need? So all this stuff is the same, right? The cap rate, that, that goes unchanged. Um, you need 53% down in order to basically break even. So what you need on this million dollar property is the down payment of $530,000. And um, that gives you a mortgage of 470. Uh, you see your annual debt service is now 34,000. And your cash flow is now $351. And you, again, have a small uh, positive ROI of 0.7%. So if you're thinking of listing or buying a property in the towns around Ottawa, you know, Richmond, Winchester, uh, Arnprior, uh, Smiths Falls, that kind of thing. Give us a shout. We've got a great agent who can help you. Thank you.